Greetings, travelers, and welcome to episode 33 of Westeros Craft Walks with your beloved host, Dutch Guard. Today, we are here to check out Antlers, the seat of House Buckwell, one of the notable houses of the Crown Lands, uh, one of the smaller but definitely one of the most powerful regions of Westeros as it is home to King's Landing. Um, right now, we're in the outskirts of King's Landing, just on the edge perhaps the northern border of the Crown Lands, and to be specific, we're here at one of the houses sworn to House Buckwell, House Hart. They have this tiny little keep here, um, which is typical of the Crown Lands style, just a very Norman, strong-looking, square-angled keep. And you can see the flags um, of the colors of House Hart waving high above the keep there, and they've got this nice little set of houses um, which are all beautifully furnished, of course, and are set in our beautiful Crownland style. You can see that cobble block that we all know and love from vanilla, and uh, the daub and wattle, and these beautiful thatch roofs. Um, before I go any further, let me just apologize for missing um, Sunday. Uh, I had some real-life commitments, such as slaying trolls and bedding maidens to attend to. Um, this does come up every once in a while but I'll be sure to give you more notice in advance in future. But I, my sincerest apologies, my dear fans. Um, you will be warned next time, but hopefully there won't be a next time. I'll try and be as consistent as possible, and to make up for it, I'll use my super epic voice today <laughs> for this episode. Anyway, like I was saying, this is the Keep of House Heart, but we're going to head towards Antlers, the castle of House Buckwell. So let's turn around, and we're going to walk past the Wellswood here on our left, which is this custom-made forest for the Buckwell lands. And if you were to explore this forest, you would find lots of little groves and shadowy corners for all kinds of outlaws to hide out in. You can see some of these fallen leaf block textures and pine needle textures out here as well to show sort of the foresty um, undergrowth there. Um, you've got also lots of weeds growing and bushes and wildflowers and it's really picturesque and if you ever come across one of these custom forests like this one here, the wells, would I highly ex I encourage you to just pick one part of the forest and just head straight in that direction and you're sure to find some interesting things. Um, anyway, just in the distance there, you can see Antler's rendering. It is one of the largest castles in the Crown Lands, as it is a very notable and prominent castle. Um, we've got this nice little rendering glitch here. You do get that as well, because our map is so epic that it can't all render at once. Um, but we'll just walk past that for now. You know, magic and all that. It does happen sometimes. There's massive holes in Westeros, um, so we just have to... Keep calm and carry on, as the Queen would say. Um, right, so we've got antlers here on the right. You can sort of see their godswood popping out of the walls there. I really love the sort of gradient they've used here um, on this castle. The sort of darker materials at the bottom and the lighter ones at the top, just to show some of the age of the castle there. We've got some random smatterings of stone here, which I also quite like, just to vary up the landscape a bit. Um, and of course, we've got some beautiful farmland in the distance, some wheat fields and some perhaps turnip fields or carrot fields, who knows, just your standard fare for the crown lands. Um, here we go, Antlers, and the King's Road is up this way. We've got Harton, which was the town we were at just now, and Maidenpool down that way, of course, Maidenpool, which we explored. Um, you've also got um, Anchester and Duskendale further out. Uh, Anchester is this little town here, which is quite quaint and nice, and one of the main, oh, really the main town of Antlers, but we'll skip that for now, in favor of exploring Antlers, the castle of House Buckwell. Now, there is only one, um, one Buckwell currently in existence, or at least one Buckwell that we know of, um, from the Song of Ice and Fire, and, um, he is up at the wall. Um, he is a knight. Um, I think his name is Jarman Buckwell, or Jarmus, I don't know, you'll have to wiki that for me. Um, but, uh, he's up at the wall, and, um, I, I spent some time trying to work out why, because it's never really explicitly stated. And then I found a bit of canon information that said that the Buckwells were on the side of the Targaryens during Robert's Rebellion, so I surmise that Robert cast out this Sir Buckwell and, uh, sent him to the to the wall, um, just to keep his, um, Targaryen loyalist meddling out of his business, 
And um, so he's up there now, just sort of biding his time, perhaps, for another Targaryen to come back. Nod, nod, wink, wink. Um, but in the meantime, we still have some Buckwells here. They're still in control of Antlers, so, so, so they still uh, maintain a presence in the Crownlands, just perhaps a slightly diminished one. And we have this lovely statue here of a um, of a buck, I suppose, for Buckwell, and uh, the Antlers, of course, for which um, Antlers the castle is named from. The Great Stag of Antlers, slain 136 AL. Uh, very cool, so there's a nice little bit of lore that the builder decided to invent and place here in the castle. Let's see if we can find our way around to the Godswood, because I do love good Godswood. Who's hiding? You sneaky Mr. Barrick. Get in that castle. Anyway, uh, round to the godswood here. Oh, it's a nice little quaint godswood. Oh, it's got a nice little outdoor sept as well. You can see the little shrines for each of the seven here. I do like this. I haven't seen this before. But perhaps here for knights to kneel before they go out to battle, pray to the warrior and to the mother for protection, to the crone for guidance. Uh, where are you, crony? There you are. And to the stranger to keep him from death, I guess. Um, <laughs> but yes, very cool. I do love this little outdoor septi thing. Very nice. I do love that this castle has these cool little vines growing up it and these cool shutters for the windows, of course. When the windows are in lower floors, you do sort of have to shutter them up to keep them from, um, vandals trying to break and perhaps steal the windows even. Um, this looks like the main hall of antlers. It is quite quaint. I do like the intimacy and you've got the lords Dace there, the Lord of Buckwell, um, and the beautiful colors of the banner of House Buckwell hanging from above with some lovely casks of ale waiting on the side for consumption. Um, oh, I've stumbled into this creepy little alleyway, but that's all part of the immersion as well. Let's see if we can find a way into the main keep. That's probably somewhere around here. Oh, this must be a kitchen. You've got this beautiful big hearth here with chains hanging down from the top for cauldrons, for boiling soup. We've got some storage areas here. Um, so no, I didn't explore this castle at all before I started, but I thought, what the heck, that might make it more interesting. We've got a little garden patch out here. This must be uh, this must be the kennels. You can see some bones there and some rotting meat. And a big old dog house there as well. Oh, this one has a lever, so I'm thinking, yes, this must be some sort of meat curing facility. Um, very nice, all part of the facilities of a good castle. Oh, we've got a brewery here as well. Very nice. You can see the casks of ale there and some hops and some barrels. And, oh, it's the bear again. Oh, God, it's the bear. Run. Run, he'll attack us. Okay, good. The bear is in the brewery. Good to know. Avoid the brewery. Um, it's a shame. I really wanted a nice pint of ale. Um, oh, this is the butcher shop in here. Maybe not the best place to be, um, especially if there's a bear about. Um, let's see if we can make our way around back to the um, main yard. And I think I saw some stairs leading up to the main keep as well. Oh, I just love all these little bed chambers as well. There must be some servants' bed chambers in here. Um, We've got um, perhaps a tailor's in here, perhaps mending some cloth of some sort. Um, sails, even. I would say sails, but we're nowhere near the ocean or any sort of rivers or anything like that. Um, right. Right. Oh, God. Dutch is lost. Oh, wait. I see an outdoor place. And we were here before. Oh, that's where the bear is. Um, I think we... Yes, here we go. We're heading up back out into that main hall, which would be just through here, I think. Yes. No, it's the gardens again! God damn it! I hope you're amused, viewers, how lost I can get. Oh, wait, I found some stairs. Yay, stairs! Okay, going up the stairs. Some nice wide stairs, good for combat, just in case there are invaders. Nice little sitting area here. Well, that's quite a throne. Well, I can't say throne. A lord's seat, perhaps, but it's very, um, ebullient. Oh, God, I haven't used that word in a while. Big vocab word there for you kids. Ebullient. Is that a word? I hope so. Oh, it's got a nice little library here in Antlers. Very cool. Little reading room as well. Um, I like how quaint everything is. So nicely decorated and furnished. Another part of the castle over here. Um, perhaps another feasting room in here. We can see another door leading out this way. Some more stairs. I do love some good stairs. Let's see if we can find a way to the top of the castle. But first, let's explore some noble chambers like the ones here. Very intimate, very quaint. A nice little sitting room and a little eating area on the side. Um, ooh, very nice. This is definitely a knight's chambers in here. Um, oh, these are sort of Targaryen looking colors. Perhaps um, haven't completely done away with the old ways. Hopefully none of the Bar Baratheons come across that room there. Um, 
Right, some more chambers here, another little sitting room. Um, I do love, there's a realistic number of bed chambers in here. Some some castles really don't have enough, because the households really are uh, a pretty sizable um, size. And, uh, you know, sometimes we just don't have enough beds for everyone. Um, another li nice little feast hall here, or meeting room perhaps, or a war room, as I like to call them sometimes. Here you can see those beautiful arrow slits as well. Um, we've done our best with the textures, and you can actually fire arrows through these, which is which will uh, come in handy for when we bring out the role-playing aspect of our server. So you can defend the castles with your arrow slits. Um, well, it sounded a bit dirty. Anyway, <laughs> um, more bedchambers here, suits of iron here. Oh, I see a door that leads us outside. Great, so this must be one of the outer parts of the castle here. We've got some stairs good going up. I do love some good exterior stairs. You can see they're made out of wood, um, so they can sort of dismantle them in case they need to defend from up here. Oh great, so you've got some sort of melee ground up here with the boundary defined by rope. That's quite clever. I've never seen that done before. Of course, you've got your rack of swords here as well. Um, useful for defending um, from up here. And of course, it's probably used for the melee. Um, right, so out here you can see the wells wood in the distance there. It's more of that rendered chunk error in the distance as well. Um, all part of the scenery. You can see some groves down there of some kind. I can't really say what that is. Oh, it must be hops growing down there, of course, because we had a, a beautiful brewery we looked at before with a bear in it. Um, just ignore the bear. He's always trying to follow me, you know, trying to get, um, get this, get some of the limelight, but I won't share it. I really won't. I really love the sound of my own voice today. I hope the epic voice has really suited um, this episode. Um, let me know in the comments below if you like the epic voice. Um, you can see some more of the farmland stretching in the distance with one really cool tree sticking up out of those wheat fields. I quite like that. So you can see from here, this really sort of your standard um, Norman kind of looking English castle with straight walls and 90 degree corners, very sturdy defenses. I don't know, I kind of like this style. It's kind of simple, but it's very defensive and realistic. Um, and there's quite a few um, castles and keeps around the crown lands in this style. Um, so go and check those out as well. One of them is Rosby, you've got Stokeworth, um, Antlers and Harton are great examples. Um, even Maidenpool, um, which we show off in one of my previous videos, is sort of the same style. Anyway, guys, I've been talking so much today, um, but I hope um, it's made up for the lack of episode on Sunday. Um, but you can be sure there will be an episode on Friday. So I'll see you then for episode 34.